Hey guys, Rob here of Team X Force. Um, July the 11th, obviously quite an important day in history. Several significant events have happened over the ages. Uh, 1848, the uh, Waterloo Station up in London. 1914, uh, Babe Ruth made his uh, debut in Major League Baseball. And 1971, the uh, copper mines in Chile were nationalised. Uh, but more importantly, 11th of July 2014, the new Super Starter Space Time Showdown Yu-Gi-Oh deck has come out and the debut of the Pendulum cards into the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise in the UK. Mark down your calendars. If you haven't got one of these already, go and get one. This is the start of a new era in Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, pretty much as soon as I remember what day it was, I called up our water local Waterstone and said, do you have one? Yeah, we got ten. Went down, got myself one. And, uh, well, yeah, basically, uh, this is a... Just to explain what this video is going to be, it's going to be a box opening and also, not too impressive, uh, but I've got a single pack of uh, Primal Origins as well. But, uh, but yeah, let's get on the way. I'm sure some people are interested in exactly what this new deck entails. Uh, so yeah, we'll get started. Um, give it a cheeky open up. It's a little bit open already. The blue is not too good. Uh, you can see here, the new Time Gazer Magician, one of the cards used by the main character Yuya from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 or Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Force Boy was saying to me the other day, Rob, obviously you're watching the new series, you've always wanted to make a main character deck, maybe you should uh, make Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I got this. Uh, there's a few things in here. Uh, we've, got, we've got a mat. I don't actually know what's on this mat, I think it might just be a basic one. We'll, uh, we'll show it anyway. Yeah, pretty pretty plain. Basically, just includes the uh, the new pendulum zones where you put the pendulum cards when they're acting as spells because they can act, as you can see here. They've got a monster part of the card and also like a spell part of the card. So they're half monster, half spell. And I've got the new rule book. There's some new rules that come into the game. I don't know if they're all off by heart, but I know I think it's a case of you only draw five cards if you go first. Um, and some stuff like that. Uh, oh, and field card field cards are now affected. Like both players can have one on both sides of their field. Um, we'll we'll get onto the deck. Um, give me a sec. See if I can crack this open. This is the toughest part, really. Let's try and get this bad boy open. Come on. There we go. The old dent. They all use these funky scissors to crack it open. But they are crap. There we go. Ooh, fresh. Very nice if you come around here. So, okay, we've got, as I say, one of the new cards Time Gaze Magician. Uh, I won't go through all the effects, but as I say, this guy is one of the signature monsters of the new main character from Yu Gi Oh! Art 5. That, that's, that's Time Gazer. This is Stargazer Magician. Um, again, one of the signature cards. This is what he uses to uh, summon his pendulum monsters and other cards in his deck. Uh, and then there's just some random stuff like this. What, what Ale Dragon? some generic normal monster that they've put into this deck so obviously it's just quite basic so there's got some normal monsters in there Lusted Dragon Hunter Dragon Lenium Shield Dark Blade Classic and uh, Warrior Digrepha again classic Chain Blade of the Six Samurai Chamber Maid Chamber Lane of the Six Samurai uh, Mystical Elf Ether the Empowering Dragon I think this is one of the new cards yeah because he works with Pendulum Summoning uh, when this card is Pendulum Summon, you can target one card in the field with 10 to the hand. Jesus, okay, that's pretty good. And you can only use it once per turn. New Light Dragon, uh, I'm sure he'll be probably used quite a bit. Uh, Ventra, the Empowered Warrior. I think I think there's one for every element here of these Empowered Warriors, judging by what I was reading up on the deck. So, um, yeah, he, I think he works with Dragons, Warriors, or Spellcasters. Um, yeah, if he's sent from the field to the graveyard... You can target one Dragon Warrior or Spellcaster type monster, normal monster in your graveyard, then hand it to your hands. That's uh, pretty cool. Arnest, the Empower Warrior, a uh, fire type. 
Yeah, I think there is one for each type, actually. Terror Tiger, the Empower Warrior. Looks like Topaz Tiger there, actually. They all, yeah, they all work with normal cards. Hydro Tortoise, the Empower Warrior. Doesn't look like a tortoise. It's got a snake on it, so I don't know what that whole tortoise thing's about. I suppose. Oh, he, he is a tortoise uh, and just happens to have a snake with him. Golden Dragon Summoner. I think that's supposed to be that dragon uh, that we saw before. That, that Aether or Aether, the Empowered Dragon. Blue Dragon Summoner, Red Sparrow Summoner, okay so they all have the uh, these Empowered Warriors behind them I think. White Tiger Summoner, Green Turtle Summoner, Sorcerer's Spell Wall, I think this is another new card. All monsters you control gain 300 attack during your turn only, all monsters you control gain 300 defence during your opponent's turn only. Quite nice art on that one. Supply Squad, I know quite a few people have been looking forward to this card. Once per turn, if a monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect, draw a card. The way they, with the way the game is these days, that pretty much happens pretty much every turn, so that's a really, really nice card. And then we've got some generic stuff here, Lightning Vortex, Mystical Space Typhoon, Ego Boost, Axe of Despair, Lucky Iron Axe, Monster Reincarnation, Dark Factory Mass Production, Classic Poison of the Old Man, Trap Hole, Sakuretsu Armor, Rangeki Break, Dust Tornado, Shadow Spell, Hero Emerges, Soul Resurrection, Jar of Greed, Magic Jammer, and I think there's the last one, Seven Tools of the Bandit. So that's the deck, that's the actual deck. Uh, also included is one Power Up Pack. Uh, basically this contains the, the actual signature card of uh, Yu-Yu from Arc 5, which is Our Eyes Dragon. Um, I'll just give this an opening. I think it has one Ultra Rare Odd Eyes and then some other cards as well. So I'll take you through it. Take you through it. So Odd Eyes Dragon. Quite nice. A Ultra Dark Hole. In fact, we'll go back to Odd Eyes because obviously he's quite important. A he's a Dragon. He's a Dark Dragon. 2500 attack. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of that monster in the graveyard. Dark Hole, Ultra Air again, Sacred Crane, DD Warrior Lady, Karaz the Light Monarch, Death's False Scalp, uh, Divine Wrath, Magic Cylinder, Call the Haunted, and Mirror Force. Quite, quite nice to have a, a common Mirror Force, really, especially as with the new ban list. I believe it's now gone to free. And as a little bonus, we'll open this pack of Primal Origin, which I uh, I got basically to bump the cost of the deck, or the cost of my purchase over to uh, £10. You get your little card stamped. Let's have a look what we got. Oh, a bit tricky. There we go. Okay, I've seen a trap card first. Uh, Evos, Singularity, Blizzard Thunderbird, Galaxy Dragon, Number uh, Chaos Number 80, Requiem Berserk. Oh, awesome, a secret rare. Rank up Magic the Seventh one. Pretty sure people are after that card, so that's really, really nice to get. Just from a random pack as well. Uh, Double Dragon Descent, that, I think that's from uh, Yugo Zexel. Um, Double Dragon Descent, Gimmick, Puppet, Destroy, Galaxy Mirror Sage, and <laughs> No Penguin. A uh, little something for uh, Force Boy there. So uh, well, I'll keep that for you next time you uh, come down. So yeah, that's the Space Time Showdown starter deck. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully we'll get some more videos a little bit soon. More deck videos, more dual videos. So keep it on the channel and uh, well, let us know what you think. So take care for now guys.